happy Sunday. Um, well, this morning it started off a little bit dreary, um, but it's perked up. The sun's just popped its head out, so that's good. Um, we had some friends overnight staying, so I did a nice cooked breakfast, and um, they've now gone home. Um, Lola and Fido have been out for their walk. It was a little bit blowy. Um, I did it on my own today because Hubby um, has rented um, a scanner for some slides he's got from his um, dad from years ago and it arrived, so it's on rent. So he is literally on a mission now to try and get all his slides done before it has to go back next week. Um, so I took dogs out on my own. Um, and then today um, we were planning to go to Sudley Castle because um, we've got some free tickets and been there a couple of times and it's really quite nice to go to. Uh, but now this scan has arrived and it should arrive till next weekend, the bank holiday weekend. So it's scuppered our plans a little bit and put us under pressure. But um, I'm still going to go on my own, I think, and just have a little wander around and see what's there. It's quite nice. It's sort of like a craft and garden and sort of a uh, fair. So um, I'm going to go and sort of have a little drive out to Cheltenham and uh, have a look around there. Uh, but before I go, I forgot to tell you yesterday, I had a parcel um, delivered on Friday um, and you know I said to you previously if you've been subscribing to my channel um, and if you haven't, you need to. Um, I've been trying new products out just to give myself a bit more variety in my food and so I thought I'd give the Skinny Company a go. And so a couple of weeks ago, just over two weeks ago actually, I put an order in and it has taken over two weeks. So that's one thing I'm a bit disappointed about because say my low dough and um, my misfits came within a couple of days. And um, this has taken a couple of weeks to arrive, so really, really slow. Um, but now it's here, I'm quite excited to try it. So I'll show you what I've got. So I've got the tomato ketchup. I've got chip chop curry, which I'm really looking forward to actually trying that especially because um, I used to really like chip chop, chip chop, chip shop curry sauces. Um, so that would be really nice. Um, Thousand Island dressing for salads. Uh, smoky barbecue. Uh, I think that'd be quite nice with some meats some chicken and things, I think. Um, this one as well, honey mustard. Um, there used to be a pub where I used to work in Coventry that did really honey mustard chicken. Oh, it was to die for. So I'm hoping this might help me recreate that. So who knows? And then I'm not a great fan of mayo, but I thought, okay, give it a go. Might as well. Um, maybe I'll uh, be converted to mayo. If not, hubby might like it actually, because I'd like him to reduce his sugar content and things as well. So, um, so yeah, so quite pleased with those. And it came with um, a couple of packs of these crispies for free. So I did have one on Friday night and it's very nice actually, very Moorish. So um, I'll pop that in the cupboard. And then the other thing I bought, um, which I'm quite excited about trying, um, is the chocolate spread. Um, and what was quite interesting, it came with a leaflet um, in the box and it compares the amount of sugar in this to your Nutella or some other equivalent um, chocolate sauces. Now this apparently has 3.39 cubes of sugar in it or equivalent to whereas your nutella for example has a 56.89 cubes of sugar that's just amazing how much more sugar is in that chocolate spread to this so i'm not sure if the taste is different i don't know so that'd be something i will um try and what i might do with this i'm thinking in my head is making um, something with the promised rolls with this, maybe like a bit like a chocolate eclair or something like that. So, um, so yeah, I'm quite excited about trying that. So yeah, so that's my latest new products to to try. Um, so I'm now going to go off and have a couple of hours at Sudley Castle, and um, if I get a chance, I'll take a video of it for you. Um, again. If you know me from my previous videos, if it's very busy, I don't like doing it because I don't think it's fair to other people who don't want to be in videos if you're taking it and without other permission and stuff like that. But I'll see how I get on anyway. Um, and then we'll pop back later and uh, have a little chat. So I'll see you soon. Hi, right, I'm now at Sudley Castle. It took me just about an hour to get here. Um, and it's quite a nice drive because you go through Morton in the Marsh, Stone the Wold. So all sort of the Cotswoldy, stony um, villages and then down through the countryside. So you've got all the rapeseed and the bluebells and it's really pretty. Um, shame it was on my own, but um, I'm here now. So let's go and have a look and see what's available and hopefully not spend too much money. 
Hope he's not with me, so um, there's no control. I'll see you in a bit. Well guys, I've just finished my Sudbury Castle Spring and Craft Fair and I wasn't buying anything, was I? There's nothing in my boot to see here, nothing at all. So I'll reveal what I bought when I get home. So I'm home and um, I've just emptied the boot out of the um, purchases I wasn't going to purchase. And um, yeah, it was quite a nice journey back. Um, again, as I said to you, the fields are beautiful this time of year with the rape seed. Here's a little picture. Um, when I had to stop at some traffic lights. Um, Fred's just about to go into his food, by the way. The normal, you know, munch munch. So shall I show you what I bought? Quite excited, really. Actually, no, before I show you what I bought, let me give you a little bit of an insight to the spring fair. Um, so I couldn't take a lot of videos inside the tent. So as you get there, outside space, there's lots of sort of um, garden-y sort of things. And then there's like a big, huge tent in the grounds and that's sort of got lots of different stalls in there. Um, and it was really, really busy. So it was almost impossible for me to actually um, record very much in there. Um, it was quite interesting because lots of different things to see and things like that. Um, there were two stalls there that are my favourite as well. And I did text my hubby on one of them. And if you know me, you know I like my Birkhoff pans. And there was a Birkhoff stand there. And I did look again to see if I needed any more pans. And I don't need any more pans, I'll be honest. But I was so tempted just to buy this flat skillet thing. And I had to talk to myself and say, you don't need it. Where are you going to put it? Um, Yes, it would be useful, but I've actually got other pans with, from Berghoff that actually do the same sort of thing, so I didn't. I did text my hubby, um, well he texted me to see how I was getting on, and I did say there's a Berghoff stand here, and his comment back to me was, step away from the pans. Um, I already had at that time, so it was absolutely fine. And then the other shop, um, the other stand that I love is Welly Gogs. I absolutely love Welly Gogs. I've got a beautiful um, coat which I bought when I went to um, oh another fair. I can't remember which one it was now. A few years ago. I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, and I've got my eye on some boots, but they're very expensive. They're about £229. They're sort of uh, waterproof leather boots, which would be great in the winter for walking the dogs. Um, I'm hoping maybe towards the end of the year I can treat myself. I don't know. I've got a birthday, haven't I? Who knows? Um, but yeah, but they did have a, um, a prize draw to win a pair of them. So I have put my name down and I have put Hubby's name down as well. So maybe I might win them. Who knows? Probably not, but hey. So, um... Here's a little view then of the, um, the fair as much as I could do for you.
interesting, isn't it? See those big giraffes? I mean, you need some garden for those, don't you? And I do love those wooden animals so that the horses was there and the deer and things like that. I think they're just absolutely amazing and the ironwork. Um, so what did I buy? Well, shall we start at the very beginning and the ironwork? And I love this. I haven't showed Hubby this yet, so you will probably see it before he sees it. And you just need to lean get it. Look at this. I might need to stand away a little bit. It's for the garden, obviously. And you put food into here, bird seed into here, and little birdies can go in and they can sit and eat um, quite nice and safely. So I thought that was really nice. Um, don't know where it's going to go. Um, I just love the, um, the leaves there and sort of the effect and the shape of it. So um, I was really quite pleased with that. I thought it was really reasonable. Um, it was uh, £25. So I thought that wasn't bad for what it is. It's quite heavy. So that's going to need a home somewhere. So let's move it out of the way. Um, I said, welly gogs. I've got a leaf plates for them. They don't have a shop, they are online, but they do go to all these sort of like craft fairs, country farm, things like that. So, and so that's where I got my first coat from them for. Um, and it's, it's all sort of country sort of clothing, but it's really nice stuff. Um, it's not your normal wellies sort of thing. So yes, I picked up a leaflet for them. Um, Berghoff, I did get a price list. Um, if you want a Berghoff pan, going to these fairs is brilliant because they have show prices so if I give you an example my roasting tin is normally £225 but at the fair today you could have bought it for £120 so I know it's not a cheap product um, but for me the amount of cooking I do and I love my cooking and these pans are amazing um, they have been a godsend to me um, you know it's like me cooking sometimes things get burned and things like that. It doesn't with these. I don't use oil if you watch my videos um, for my cooking. Don't use any oil with them. They're brilliant. They clean really well. Um, you can just screw the handles and put them in the oven and so you can cook on the stove and then just take them straight into the oven and use them as a casserole dish or anything. In fact one day I might do a video just on my pans because they are amazing. Um, the thing I was looking at, I don't know if it's actually on here, no it's not, it was like a flat base sort of skillet sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't get it. Um, I was very good. I did step away from the pans but um, go online, look at their website. Um, they're brilliant. Now, I did buy something. Now, you're going to think this is a bit strange, but if I sort of give you a scenario, um, when we go out with the dogs, um, if I'm at home, um, obviously it's just usually car keys, poo bags, and sometimes I take my phone out, sometimes I don't. If I'm on my own, I always do. If hubby's with me, I don't. So I can sit things in my pockets, it's fine. But if we go on a long walk somewhere, so we drive somewhere and go for a nice day out and take the dogs, the <laughs> vibe is really winching away, isn't it? Um, I don't want a handbag, but I need money because we might stop at the pub um, or get an ice cream or a drink or something. I need my car keys and I also need my phone and then anything else I might need. So, but don't want a handbag, especially if I've got my camera because I've already got a camera bag with me. So I want something else. And so I wanted a new bum bag um, so that I can just literally stick it around my waist because if you've got the dogs on leads, you don't want to have to have something else to carry and things like that. So, um, they had this at the fair, I'll show you. Which I thought was really nice and rustic looking. Um, it's like a fabric, um, it's got a little zip at the back there, perfect for my phone. And what I like was the little pockets at the front. So it's got a little zip pocket here with another zip there. A little pouch, which put the poo bags in, couldn't I? Or doggy treats or something. And then a bigger pouch there, which, ooh, just dropped it. Um, I could also put my little camera in, or my purse, or my phone, or anything for birds. And there's another little zip inside, there's loads of pockets in this, it's brilliant. So that was £10, and I thought that was a bargain. Um, so yeah, so I'm quite chuffed with that. So that was for me. My next purchase, um, actually, actually, next thing I didn't purchase, I got given it as I walked around as a freebie, and it's, um, if I can show you, there it's actually a hand cream for valent i think it's called um actually that little pot would be brilliant to take on holiday um because it's it's small enough to use it's driving me mad Fire. enough 
it's empty. Let's talk about making a point. There is another bowl of food there, by the way. It's just the one he's at makes the most noise. So, yeah. Now he's drinking. Okay, so the next one um, was a um, New York deli stand, which did nuts. And it had nuts of so many variations. And I just thought, you know what? These would be really great um, for in the summer barbecues and people come round to have that as nibbles. So they had loads of different flavours. I'm a bit mad what 10 packs, but it's 10 packs for £10 or I think it's three packs for £5 or 10 for £10. So I thought, let's go for the 10. So we've got lemon chilli. We've got hot toffee, which is weird. It's like sweet and hot. Really nice. Wasabi peas, because... We'll go wasabi. Um, well, these are these ones, right? I didn't think this would work, and I was really surprised because it does. And these are cocoa caramel uh, peanuts, so it's like chocolate cocoa sort of peanuts. But so it's not chocolate; it's just like the cocoa. So a bit like a truffle outside. Really nice. Um, Bollywood barbecue. Um, we've got I've got some more cocoa caramel. Um, more wasabi, more hot toffee, what else to get? And, oh, and then hot chilli. Because when it's hot outside, give it our hot chilli nuts. So yeah, so I've got 10 packs of those £10, so they're going to be absolutely great for the summer. So I can show them to be. And then, I'll just put these out of the way. Clear the decks. Quite a big bag of nuts, isn't it? Right. And then, the final things I bought, that was quite constrained, uh, really, was, um, I'll show you the bag, gives it away, doesn't it? Heck. And if you are similar, do you know heck sausages are really low sin? Um, I think they're about two sausages um, for half a sin, and they are small sausages, so um, I'll show you the size of these sausages. There you go. Um, so I bought um, a pack of 10, just normal chicken. I think that's that chicken? Yes, yeah, simply chicken. Um, I'll show you that one just yet. Yeah. Loads trying to get out the door now. Um, I bought the smoky paprika chicken. There. And then, for something different, um, and actually, I didn't realise how many was in the pack. That's interesting. Um, I've got four zesty chicken burgers. Now, if I'd known there was four in these packs, I might have bought two of those, actually, because what I did then buy was the chicken Italian um, burgers let me see and the burgers are one sin a burger so I thought they'd be quite nice actually for something different in the week so yeah so that's my um, little trip out to Sudley Castle Spring and Craft Fair today so I don't think I spent too much I don't think I went mad um, I said the two stalls which I could have done some serious damage to my credit card I stepped away from I have to say so I'm quite proud of myself for that. Um, I can just go and revisit if I need to. Um, let me just rescue something from Lola. Thank you. So right, this bag fell on the floor and obviously it smells of the chicken. So she was just about to help us out to it. So that is my purchases for today. Now, um, can I just tell you something as well really funny? Yesterday I downloaded a video which was including my little shopping haul. And um, if you know YouTube at all, you know that you, um, you download it onto YouTube a video and then you can choose your thumbnail. So what I do is I download it as private normally. Do you remember, if you've watched my video yesterday, you'll know I talked about these noisy toys. Yeah. On form, they're playing with the two noisy to toys each. Anyway, back to the thumbnail. So yeah, so you can change your thumbnail. So I download it as private, go in, change my thumbnail and then make it public. But because my friends were coming around last night, I was in a little bit of a hurry. So I forgot to put it as um, private. And it was taking forever to download. And I kept watching it and then we were due to go out for dinner and it was still at 50%. So I thought, right, okay, we're only going to the pub at the road. By the time I come back, it will probably still just be doing, but then I can go in, check it, change the thumbnail and, and no one's gonna see anything. Now with YouTube, it picks a random thumbnail just from your videos. So it just takes a, a shot. So last night's video, uh, it took a random shot from my thumbnail. And oh my God, I was going. 
Um, my friend was in stitches in the pub when I realised it had downloaded um, and she took a screenshot. So Eloise Howard, yes, if you use that, you will be so much trouble. Three people had viewed the video by the time I got home to change it. So um, those three people out there, I do apologise that my thumbnail was so hideous. Um, I will try not to make that mistake ever again. Um, right, I'm just going to open this back door for Lola because can you hear her scratching? She's driving me mad. Oh, dogs. Um, yeah, so mm, pretty embarrassed about that. Um, the rest of the day then, Sunday, um, I'm actually going to be making some breadcrumbs. I know, weird, isn't it? Can I show you? I have here a plate. Can you see? Oh, there we go for a dried up bread. So when I buy the fresh bread, 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 bread from the bakers, if I can't use it all, sometimes I will chop it up um, into slices and freeze it so that um, if you want toast at the weekend or whatever, I can defrost it quickly and you know, have it as toast. Or I leave it, and you have to leave it, uh, we've talked about it on one of my videos before, either leave it in the bags that it comes in, so it's got like air, sort of air holes in them, or just leave it as it is. Um, and it will dry out, it won't go mold or anything, it will literally dry out. And then you can just zap it in your food processor and make um, breadcrumbs, and then I just freeze it. So if I ever need breadcrumbs, I've got them to hand without having to mess around. So it, a lot of it is white here, but there is some wholemeal bread as well. So I can have that for my healthy extra B. Um, and then the white will be really for hubby, for him to have um, breadcrumbs with. Um, we did a pasta bake a few weeks ago and he wanted breadcrumbs on his pasta bake and I didn't because obviously I didn't want the sins. So it's useful for things like that just to put on top and it's quick to go too. So that's what I'm going to be doing later. There you go. Um, and then it's Sunday dinner so we're going to have roast beef and Yorkshire pudding tonight as well. So I will sin that um, along with my slimline wine. Um, of course, what else will I be drinking? So guys, that's my Sunday. I hope you enjoyed that. and. Um, let me know what you've been up to this Sunday and what you think. If you've tried these Heck um, burgers, because I haven't tried them before, so it'd be really interesting to know if anybody has and what they think of them. Um, and if you like my bird uh, feeder, you need to go and show hubby that. Hub hubby? You need to go and show hubby that now. So have a really good um, weekend, guys. Um, please subscribe to my channel and click notifications. Um, really good to know who's watching and get some feedback from you. And don't forget to click a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, and have a good Sunday and we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.